Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with the Moons of Madness blind. I'm still here trying to recalibrate the solar panels, but to do that, I need to first uh, find a few power cells uh, to, you know, actually power them. So let's go and look inside this. Uh, well, what would what, what, what you call it? Building? Habitat? Oh, freak! <laughs> yeah, I didn't... I didn't... Uh, exchange the atmosphere for the, for the interior one, so... I was basically trying to breathe a Martian atmosphere which lacks oxygen. So, <laughs> so there is that. Uh, I'm probably happy. I'm probably lucky to be alive. Huh? Who's that? Right. Don't know. Thought I saw someone. Don't see anyone now. Let's just get this done. Well, I think the protagonist find a power cell. is already kind of losing it, which is, you know, another staple of, of Lovecraftian fiction. More chess. Bon... Bo... Hmm, not sure what that says. Geological survey report. After 133 souls, the primary mission is finally a success. I located a possible water. A possible water what? Possible water ice deposit. 30, uh, 36.8 kilometers east of here. Serrano crew will be notified as soon as they are within range. Investigations are underway. Okay. And no power in the computer. Now I wonder if I can freely exchange the the power cells because if I can, then I would bring the one from the rover in here, uh, read what I can. Why is this locked? Why are the lights off? And then continue from there because hmm, because presumably I can't uh, do anything else here while the power is off you know the computer is is un unplugged and the doors are locked so I can't do much hmm, it's weird how it's so dark on this side but C compared to this side, like it's a, it's a, it's a very small distance. Uh, okay, let's put on my helmet again. Uh, exchange the atmosphere. And uh, get out. Yeah, look, look how bright it it is on this side, and how dark it is on the other side. And curiously enough, it, it only looks like this from the interior. Like it's 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 pretty bright out here as well. So are the windows tinted black? Like I guess they could be a little, but I I fail to see why they would make it so dark. Like it's actually actually kind of depressing. If there is sunlight here, wouldn't they you know benefit from that? There are actually multiple studies uh, done uh, on the fact that the lack of sunlight uh, is actually um, contributes to depression in humans. Which was actually a plot point in Bioshock, for example, because, you know, the Bioshock games, well, the first two, uh, freak, again, I'm Damas. 
the Bioshock games, the, the first two, it took place at the bottom of the sea. So it was actually a plot point how uh, the people mm, got depressed and you know paranoid because of the lack of the sun. Uh, Okay, so let's stick this here. Mm. It's still locked. But maybe I can unlock it from from the computer. Like look at how dark this is looking from from this window and how little light uh, it gives even though it's pretty bright on the outside mm, okay let's check the computer more trash hey Declan why don't you give me your password I'm just gonna check out your browsing history hard pass <laughs> okay uh, Shane Newhart engineer security level one uh, log 84. Uh, solar panels are becoming a consistent issue. The power conduit locks the dip in power when the automatic sensors stop working and shut down, triggering sec secondary batteries. Manual calibration seems to work fine, and the panels turn and track the sun. Uh, only remaining, which is something I was talking about, only remaining option is a coding issue, and nothing I can find in the manual helps troubleshooting. Honestly, the extra EVAs are great for clearing my mind. Feels so cramped doing maintenance at the station. Looking out the window isn't the same as standing there on the sand. Even if I'm just scanning and turning knobs, it's scanning and, it's scanning and turning knobs on Mars. It's real. And anyone bitching about sleep issues, my clay, myself included, is nice to feel like I'm getting away. Uh, almost don't want to lock the issue, but yeah, power might be important. Uh, water sites. Tarsis MC9, Ulysses Collies, current site high pri priority. Drilling site approved. Thermal scan shows multiple possible ice vein but deposits. Uh, soil samples return sediment clay at 10 meters. UV scans nominal. Fossilized plant material sample discovered. Testing required to determine Mars origin or particulates from a meteor impact. Thermal scans most promising. Additional exploration approved, uh, though distance is a major factor. Uh, Ulysses Patera. Initial samples negative. Thermal UV show potential deposits below threshold. Uh, recent activity log. Mm. Oh, so it's, it's even later than uh, then um, uh, to the, then in 2051 it's it's 2063 at the point it's just the Orochi catalog was written in 50 something uh, solar array manual calibration required still no assessment manual calibration required coding issue engine malfunction ignition exhaust sen sensor not mission critical awaits run of a resupply Manual, no manual calibration required, no external damage. Automatic sensor replaced. Small abrasion on external wiring. Manual calibration. Nick in hose. Replaced len length and nozzle. Manual calibration. Cause unknown. Uh, inclement weather. Toilet clog. Manual extraction required. Shower, shower confirmed as working. Power, power cell placed in storage. Misfire, risk of sparks, replaced faulty wiring. Uh, note to Shane. Did Lucas think I wouldn't notice something missing from my output? <laughs> Lucas Van Buren, employee of the month. Which is me. Mm, this is Lucas. Seeing as the living quarters of this facility have become your makeshift storage area, I have placed a few of my own non-essential items in this space as well. I have therefore enacted a more secure protocol for locking mechanism for the quarters in question. As you have access to this location on a habitual basis, I have allowed you unlock privilege without password protection. I request that you please do not disturb my items, as even though they are non-essential, they are, they are in effect my possessions and aid me in my endeavors. 
Thank you, Dr. Van Buren. So... Hmm, this is, this is like a laptop or something, but I can't... Oh, not, not even or something, this is literally a laptop, but I can't uh, interact with it. So, let's open the door. Uh, is this a shower? Uh, I think so. There are towels. Uh, hydratic cleanser. Moisturizer. Mm, another power cell, I think. Uh, risk of electrical shock. More than one disconnect disconnect switch may be required to de-energize the equipment before servicing. Okay, let's add it to it to the inventory. Mm, lab coats, some medicine, which I can't exactly read the name of. Mm. Operation instructions, Manticore. And this is a toilet. So <laughs> am I assume to assume, because it's almost out of toilet paper, so am I to assume that they were using this to wipe? Yeah. It's a classic joke, you know, uh, in stories to place a book near the toilet and imply that it has been used as a substitute toilet paper. I should grab that cell powering the facility before I go. Mm, okay. situation at the solar site. Panels are out of alignment again. Until the Cyrano gets here, I don't have the parts to test. Can't confirm the issue 100%. All right, just so you know, anything breaks around here and I've got Doro Rochi execs on my ass. If you want to explain to them why a multi-million dollar piece of equipment is being manually adjusted every day, be my guest. Oops. But we have okay. a mission and I'd rather focus on that, not fucking filling out paperwork. Um, Did, didn't want to do that. Not your fault, but after the Cyrano lands, no excuses. Get it done. Over and out. You know, that's actually pretty interesting uh, when you think about it. Because, indeed, uh, there are a lot of things concerning simple uh, maintenance that, that uh, are exponentially more difficult uh, the farther you get from Earth. Uh, because, you know, you can't... I, I'm not sure how long uh, it takes to get to Mars uh, in this timeline, but uh, you can't get spare parts like on a moment's notice. Uh, you can only get what you what you had before or what you manufacture yourself. So each problem is, even if it would be trivial on Earth, it becomes you know a major problem uh, on Mars. Okay, so... F 99... 100. Declan, the solar panels are now calibrated. Heading up the hill to the conduit. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, copy that. Mm, okay, there's clearly something, or something wrong with that Declan guy. Like, he seems not all... not all... Um, like, he seems uh, distracted and kind of confused. Hmm. 
I guess this is one of the moons. Either Phobos or Deimos. The power conduit is shut down. Hmm. There should be a fuse switch on one of the sides. I came from here. You just do? I have water spraying all over my greenhouse. I would not expect this from a new heart. Can't you just turn it off? I do not have time for this. You will fix this. Jeez. Who shit in her cereal? Ah, but damn it. Wait, I don't actually need this power cell. Because I came up here. Hmm, or do I? I'm pretty sure I came up here on foot, right? So... What gives? Missing power cell. Ah, right, okay. Uh, 60% oxygen. Should be comfortable enough to get to the base. Not quite sure what's the deal with this uh, shelf uh, because I can't interact with any of the items here. Mm, some tools. Well, let's drive back. Oh, that's a major I lag. I can't shake that dream. Part of it was a memory from when I was a kid. Weird. It was the last birthday party my mom was around for. She left not long after that. Do you know what happened to her? Not really. It was big news when she disappeared. She was a big shot theoretical mathematician. Oh yeah. Everyone knows Dr. Newhart. I mean, I had to read engineering dimensions in grad school. All I know is the day after my birthday, I head downstairs for breakfast, and I couldn't find her. The basement door was wide open. It was the only place she could be, I thought. So I went down. There was a, uh, like a, well, she wasn't there, or anywhere. We searched for years. Hmm. So I guess the, the woman in the vision slash nightmare was the protagonist's mother, or like her animated corpse, or something? She she didn't look. Uh, she didn't look fully human. Well, she did look human, but what I mean is she didn't look ordinary. Wow, <laughs> feels like I'm back in therapy. Well, no better place to tackle your problems than from 130 million miles away, right? 
Wait, is it 130 million miles or is it 77 million? Ah, uh, wait. Okay, because I think uh, Newhart has his dimensions in kilometers, but then it would be less miles than it is kilometers, so it's even more weird. Okay, first, mm, change the atmosphere. Okay, so I'm going there, but I don't want to go there yet, because uh, I want to see if if anything has changed, perhaps while I w while I was away. Uh, storage. Mm, seemingly nothing in here. Although I might be able to require, to, uh, I might be required to go here later to fix something. Mm. Okay, this is locked. Research and living area. Uh, living area, bathroom closed. So I don't think I have much choice uh, regarding where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, because I came from here, so I guess mm, greenhouse this is where I am going, so I'll check here, but I think I was here. I think I'm walking, walking in a circle, right? And yeah, storage. I'm uh, notoriously bad at directions. <laughs> Hence the confusion. <laughs> Okay, that's some weird lag spike right there. Is the game okay? Uh, it hasn't lagged. Oh, the greenhouse is pretty beautiful, actually. Declan, the greenhouse is definitely in a sorry state. This has got to be fixed before the Cyrano lands. Well, the major issue is the water reclaimer. No, I'm reading it is offline. Work your magic. Hmm. I haven't experienced any FPS drops before, so I'm kind of weirded out by them appearing now. Hmm. And the ever environment for objective locations. I would rather explore a little bit on my own. Hmm. I guess those are those. Uh, lamps that imitate the sunlight. I'm, I don't know what they are called. UV. I, I don't think it's straight up UV lighting. It's something more. Looks like it needs a higher security level. Uh, Ina? What is it? The door to underground access is locked. I have instructed Dr. Van Buren to lock all doorways to critical projects. This is the culmination of my entire life's work. We do not want contamination. I can't fix it if I can't get to the pumps. That is an inconvenience? You are the inconvenience. Figure it out. That is your job, yes? <laughs> That's kind of a majorly dick move. Okay, I can't, can't get in here. Like, they want me to fix something, but at the same time, they are actively restricting my ability to help. Mm, the door is broken. Mm, pump station. So I think that 
the pump station itself is my objective, so I, I, I'll explore the other things first. Because they seem non-essential, at least at first glance. Mm, this is some kind of a storage area. Mm, air filtration, mm, plants and their growth in Martian soil. Didn't want to uh, benzene formaldehyde, saline, ammonia in martial soil. I'll use this because it's, it's easier for me to read. Normal growth, suboptimal. I don't know any of the. Well, I know what, what aloe vera is, but that's about it. Because because uh, those are all uh, Latin names for the plants which I wouldn't even know them if they were English, like plants are not my forte. I probably wouldn't even know most of those plants if they were in Polish. Uh, that's how little I know about plants. Uh, but basically they are checking which ones grow uh, at what rate um, and with which, uh, with which fertilizer or with which additive, I guess. Um, Suboptimal, blah blah blah. I don't think it's it's crucially important, especially given how, as I said, I don't really, uh, I don't really um, understand the distinction between the various types of the plants. Uh, Manticore. Ah, so this goes. This is the other door. On um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait, has the, has the lighting changed or where am I going crazy? I could have sworn the lighting the lighting was a little bit different when I was here before. Uh, more plants. There's also a fertilizer, but also a computer. Mm, some kind of a journal. Okay, I, I'll... Freak, didn't want to do that. I'll use the other mode of reading because the lighting is uh, sub-optimal here. So, general botany, log one. Work begins on our gene splicing projects. My tasks are regrettably, uh, regrettably varied here or in, on Invictus. This log will specifically track the initial work with plants, data and notes will be tallied and put into proper reports. This log serves as an overview and a rare opportunity for me to opine about our studies. Inna recommends that I let loose a, li a little sometimes. I certainly plan on doing so. Species include, and it's a list of plants uh, with the Latin names, um, specimens propagated and placed in their containers. I have tidied the chaos in the lab. Uh, to my more expecting standards. I can tell that Dr. Volkova does not fully approve, but I've seen her searching for an item here and there. Uh, she has begrud begrudgingly accepted the additional efficiency. While the seeds germinate in the Martian soil mix, it gives me additional time to make adjustments. I've promised her that I will not over-organize in the greenhouse area. Uh, okay, I, I can flip it. Damn it, could I flip... Mm, I wasn't paying attention to... Damn it. Could I flip the other... I probably could flip the other journal in the starting area, and I didn't because I assumed it would be an option on the right, uh, right here, but it only appears when I actually look at the end of the page. Damn it, I feel guilty about that now. But oh well. We do not have access to the needed equipment, an automated high throw genotyping system at the least to facilitate the analyzing of the seeds themselves so we are forced to wait until they have germinated before taking action in my opinion this is insufficient uh, dr volkova assures me that after our first round of tests the powers that be will acquiesce acquiesce i have my doubts i have begun planning a backup agreement no backup arrangement if the progress is timed um, 
Control has offered, offered rare support for Dr. Volkova's work. Uh, we have been granted declassified access to the research logs of their subsidiary Plethron, specifically their work on genetic engineering of their crops. While I would have preferred a more current listing, as opposed to peer-reviewed studies published in journals, a few unexpected surprises have arisen. I can build on this. Damn it, I feel really bad about not flipping the, the pages on the other journal. A setback today. Frustration is for the weaker minds, as Inna might say. The bacteria we've introduced have failed to take hold in all specimen. The thingamajig something had exhibited an unusual growth cycle requiring fewer n nutrients by nearly 30% and yet exhibiting standard growth pattern. Our attempt to isolate this anomaly were successful, however the bacteria must have become exposed during transit, the seed showed, showed no similar traits during testing and growth patterns have been normal. Mm. The project escalates but not far enough, not fast enough. We have stretched the limits of what has been done back on Earth. However, I know we could be doing more. If they aren't prepared to spe spearhead Inna's work, I know another who will. Persistence, Lucas. Persistence. Uh, Inna has put in another special request for Orochi to continually disregard what is clearly a uh, potential for groundbreaking Xenobio Xenobotanical studies seems disingenuous, misguided at best. I am vexed. Uh, okay. That's the end this time. But I'm salty about missing the other one. Mm, okay. General Botani Log. Herein is the basic record of activity regarding the botany studies performed of the Invictus Mars mission as authorized by Dr. Lucas van Buren, myself, who in addition to other crucial responsibilities has volunteered to serve as Dr. Volkova's part-time assistant. The species brought for studies are noted for their higher air detoxification ability and preference for light conditions, similar to those on Mars. Our first task is to evaluate the specimen's performance in ordinary, uh, ordinary potting soil brought from Earth to be compared with the results of the NASA Clean Air study. Uh, Dr. Volkova has also hand-selected particular species for her own studies, including several carnivorous species. The colony of roaches did not survive the trip as hoped. Uh, Dr. Volkova says she can simulate the nutrients necessary. Uh, log 4. We are pleased to observe thus far that all gathered plant data uh, meets our expectation and we can proceed with the experimental growth condition at the conclusion of this trial. At the time, at that time we will plant the same species in Martian soil supplemented with bacteria to be gathered from the waste of the crew and animal test subjects. In my own time I have outlined a plan to test a hypothesis on crew morale. In preparation for this experiment, and with, with Inna's approval, I have taken cuttings from a number of species for propagation. Um, once the right ratio of bacteria is reached, the, Martians, the Martian soil serves as a proper substrate. Most plant specimens grew at the normal level, with only a handful experiencing su suboptimal speeds. See the table, air filtration plants and their growth in Martian soil, which I've read. Uh, Mauna Loa is the only specimen failing to grow. Dr. Volkova has not yet pinpointed the cause. Mm, while admit uh, admittedly outside the purview of our initial scope, uh, the introduction of Dr. Volkova's new, gener genetically modified version of Mauna Loa has outgrown previous iteration 300%. The new plant does not require a does require a not insignificant increase in silene and nutrient solution, however, with a hydroponic testing area it appears to thrive. Uh, its proximity to the Mauna Loa I has... What? Mauna Loa 1 has caused a marked increase in the original plant's growth. Theoretically speaking, 
this increased needs for nutrients and expensive root structure should have caused the opposite effect. I have always admired Dr. Volkova's tenacity, but this uh, result is exceptional. Perhaps I need to embrace her advice and step outside my comfort zone in the future. Phenomenal work. Okay, to be honest, that wasn't too fascinating, but that might be because I know next to nothing about uh, about botany and plants. So, no, I must be the best person to appreciate what they are doing here. Uh, but I am going into the pipes, so over here. Uh, not the pipes, the pumps, rather. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh. Okay, this is pretty weird. He has like a burn mark in the shape of the two circles. Huh. Okay, this is weird. And what's even weirder is that he hasn't noticed like this pattern mm, oh, that, that's also on his hand has appeared multiple times throughout the base. Uh, so, how come he doesn't care? Like, I would kind of question that. Uh, hmm. Is this the the beginning of the infestation of the black goo from the from the vision, or is it just dirt? Not sure. Mm, this is some kind of a crank or a lever. Hmm, I'm not sure what those are for. Should be able to pass through now. Mm, okay. Hmm. What would be the purpose of such a container? Like it doesn't look like something you would grow plants in. It looks more like a like a Bacta tank uh, out of a Star Wars story. The uh, ladder is broken. Huh, even the trees uh, look kind of creepy uh, through the window. Because the windows are all tinted, tinted black. Yeah, I can't go through here. Security level isn't high enough. Should have sent a plumber. Yeah. What a mess. I gotta keep an eye on that steam so I don't get burned. Shit. Okay, this was clearly some kind of a monster. Presumably those tentacles from the intro. And maybe it was the start of the infestation, you know, the puddle of black goo that I noticed up there.
Okay, there's literally a giant black tentacle there. And yet, uh, the protagonist says nothing. I find that weird. Mm, insert what? Water filter? Like, literally, it was right there, and he... it was in plain view. I was looking directly at it, and he only commented once it moved, which I find immensely weird, to be honest. Okay, this loops back to where I already was. other water filter because the other one had the number two yeah, yeah and there is the black goo so I guess I was right it was the beginning uh, of the infestation as I guess is this structure is contaminated there is a viscous black substance like oil it seems like it's spreading it is not contaminated it is changing evolving it's beautiful it is reborn this doesn't look right no oh, constant interruptions i do not have time to explain myself to you hmm. yeah so i guess at least she's part of the like, she's already indoctrinated by whatever this is. Mm. Wow, that's a cool uh, lighting effect. Uh, and I guess that might explain why the symbol keeps appearing, because uh, there's already, like, a cult uh, in works or something, you know, on, on the station. But I find the protagonist's reaction to be very subdued, uh, almost comically so. Like, I would be kind of freaking out if I noticed something like this. Whereas he... Mm, he doesn't seem to even care that much. Uh, find the missing components. Not sure what that is, but it has an interesting effect when I shine a flashlight on it and then disable it. Hmm. And I still don't know. I guess those are water filters. That's what it said. Jesus, this can't be Lucas again. Who just takes this stuff apart? Now I have to find where he put three water reclaimer pieces. Mm, reclam reclamation unit. Advanced multi-outlet water recovery system designed by Manticore in association with Platron. Each unit purifies a specified amount of water before initiating its storage procedure. Maintains consistent, consistent pressurized flow of over 60, uh, 60 psi. Uh, okay, I probably needed to connect to this. Uh, reclaim water. Okay, but first, pres presumably, of course, I need to find the uh, thingamajigs. Uh, of course, he leaves his ID. At least he has a higher clearance level. Well, 
Lucas, I'm gonna need to borrow this for a bit. Should be able to open these doors now. Uh, Lucas van Buren, medicine and philology. Okay, and this is the same as on my card. Okay, I didn't want to let it go. I wanted to add it to my inventory. Mm, okay, I will read mm, the the emails on the computer, but I will do that next time because this episode has been long enough and I, I'm also experience, experiencing weird mm, FPS problems so I think I'm going to uh, give a game a bit of a rest and uh, restart, uh, restart it another time. Uh, so for now, that was all for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye!